I'm trying to go to every big time university in the country, get into their massive stadiums and try to walk on the field. And I am very happy to make it here because it's saving me a ton of drive in. We have arrived in the research triangle. I'm at Keenan Stadium for North Carolina. I'm also very happy to be here because Keenan Stadium is one of only a handful of power conference stadiums that are open to the public. Basically every single gate around this place is unlocked from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Very welcome to all Tar Heels. Let's see what we can get ourselves into here. Off the bat, from the roofs to the railings, this whole place is so Carolina blue. It is the best color in college sports. You cannot get enough of it. We'll accept a little red to let a robin in the building though. Actually, these first section entrances we're seeing are locked up, but I think the ones up here I saw weren't. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I absolutely love this. Every single section has access to the field. I've seen a few people running stairs out here already, and there's premium seating on every side of the stadium. This is the walk-on challenge, wet dream. I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. Maybe these seats up here. Let's check that out. There's no way these boxes are open too, right? Dude, let's go. I definitely thought this was gonna take us to the boxes, but we're already inside a massive box here. Can't say this is the best view of a game I've ever seen, but it's probably why they have the seats down here. If we're getting up there, I think this elevator right here is gonna have to work. In my time making these videos, I have noticed the stadiums that are more open to the public are usually more locked up about the premium stuff. So no promises we get in, but we're gonna try. Looks like we're gonna need a key to even press the button. We're going back to the main level. There's trees all around Keenan Stadium and the entire lower bowl is built into the ground. This is actually pretty tough to find if you're not looking for it. Passing by Hawaii, passing by the Rams Club. Like I said at the start, pretty much every gate around here is open during the day. Let's head under this concourse right here. This is gonna kind of take us through Legends Row, Gio Bernard, Ryan Switzer, Mitch Trubisky, and Eric Ebron. Or if you're a Lions fan like me, dropped him as prime. Okay, this is my favorite thing I've seen so far. A basketball half court inside the football stadium is the most North Carolina thing I've ever seen. I gotta find my way down here. Son of a gun. Thought the elevator might do it too, but starting to think every elevator in the stadium might be cooked. What's up, Sam? What's up, Drake? This transition from gravel to brick has to mean we're going somewhere nice, right? I think this is the club area. Not feeling super confident. Maybe this truck left something unlocked. Cocktail tables in front of the door is an ideal. It's not gonna be open either. From the outside, can't say this looks like the most eventful place anyways though. I am very pleased this adventure took us to a full uniform ram though. That completes a full lap around. Can't say there's too much more to do outside of the bowl here. Even if we miss a lot of cool spots, I still can't get over how much I love this stadium. Coming down just in time to check out some drills. Nice. And there we are. This is fantastic, but if we don't at least try the Dean Dome while we're at UNC, what are we doing? See you, Keenan Stadium. Seems like this is the way to head out right here. There is so many people on campus today. We're pretty deep in a summer break, but walking around, it feels like we're in the full swing of the academic calendar. As we finish our walk over to, Quick reminder to like, comment, and subscribe because traveling to all these places isn't cheap and that's the best way to support the page. I think these steps should take us up here, right? Off rip, it looks like there's absolutely nobody here. Only two of these doors at our first gate even have a handle. Doesn't seem like this one right here is gonna be happening, but we can see inside of here pretty well. Looks like the course being used by somebody too. I guess that's promising to see at least one person in here. Around the Dean Dome is even more forested than the football stadium is. UNC and Stanford by far have the most trees around their athletic facilities out of anywhere I've been. Looking like entrance C is more of the same over here too. With the same luck at the doors. I did make sure to wear my Carolina blue Jordan shorts today. That's gotta give me some luck, right? There's a whole mess of stuff down here. Maybe. Nope. Holy hell, this is a tough nut to crack, man. There might really just be zero shot we get in here. Here's another little bite of the concourse though, just in case we can't. This actually might be something though. It's the first thing I've seen that could be closed that's in fact open. One door, can't say it looks super promising, 
It's not. Our last handful of doors are at gate A. Let's throw some Hail Marys. Nope. No. And no. I just want to be with you, Ramses. Why can't you let me in? That's pretty disappointing, but we can't win them all. I do really want to end on a high note, though. There's got to be one more thing we can find our way into. I'm not sure where everything else is, though. Usually going to football and basketball, I'll just, like, stumble upon a soccer or baseball field, but I haven't seen anything yet. Letterman's Lane is the coolest thing I've seen around this arena, though. Every single player that has lettered, men's and women's, is featured out here by decade. What I found really interesting, though, out of every historic North Carolina basketball player, only one of them has an individual commemoration out here. Not Michael Jordan, not Tyler Hansbro, but Vince Carter. Well deserved, obviously, just thought it was interesting he's the only one. The natatorium's across the street. That's something. I'm sorry, but someone's gotta find me Peter Found and Adam Greaser. These sound like the most made up names I've ever heard. Ooh, ooh, Carolina Basketball Museum. This seems up my alley. And we're open, let's go. Oh yeah, this is what the doctor ordered right here. A full museum dedicated only to North Carolina basketball. There's the rings and there's the trophies. I love a good NBA wall. This one is just nuts though. What a great way to cap off a beautiful day in Chapel Hill. Thanks again. Take care now. I feel satisfied with the extra leg of the trip now. Tar Heels, appreciate y'all.